it's just a quick video to show how you use a Hyperion E meter 2 to test the servo. Um, first of all, you start with a LiPo battery, hook that up. I'm using an ESC to then uh, carry the voltage signal um, into the Hyperion meter. So that gives us the power. And, uh, and then on the other side here, um, we have a servo. Now these can be reversed, it doesn't really matter. You can bring the power in on this side and servo on that side, it doesn't matter. Um, make sure that your e-meter is fully charged or, or it uh, won't work, or at least well charged. I will turn this thing on. Alright, so it's already in the servo testing uh, position, so I'm going to back up to the main menu and show you how this, what you need to do to get there. So it'll turn on in this position. Just scroll down to testing by hitting the next button, hit go. Uh, and then it goes to test servos, hit go. And now the first thing it does is it asks for the start position. Um, and this is the pulse width in microseconds, so it's down at uh, 1,000 microseconds or one millisecond. So I'll set it there. You can see as I turn this knob, the servo actually moves based on the pulse width. So we're setting the start position of the test. Set it around 1,000, hit next. Now it's asking for the end position. I'll crank that up to around 2,000, which is about two milliseconds. Hit start. And now it's in the testing mode and it's driving the servo through that range of motion based upon the start and end pulse widths. It's as simple as that. Hit the stop button when you want to finish. And that's it. Um, okay, that was a quick look. Thanks for watching.